Hello friend, welcome to Loving Beyond. We continue to explore how different groups received the news about the birth of Jesus Christ and today we look at the Magi from the East or otherwise known as the wise men from the East. It is recorded in Matthew that at the exact time Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a star appeared to the Magi, or wise men. This star was seen thousands of miles from Bethlehem, the sign of which the Magi interpreted to mean that a king had been born. And leaving all they had to do, the Magi followed the star until they came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who is being born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then the Magi proceeded to Bethlehem as directed to the house where Jesus had been born. And when they found him, they were overjoyed. They bowed down and worshipped him. And they presented the baby king with gifts of gold and of incense and of mar. Now, not much is known about these wise men. But one thing is very clear about them. They recognized the Messiah and traveled thousands of miles to come and worship him, while those in Bethlehem, to whom the king had been born, did not. They had been led by a star. What could this mean? Of course, many things. But the Magi picked one meaning out of the many. A king has been born, and he deserves our worship. How different their reception to those of the people in Bethlehem and Israel who had no room, who had received him not, and up to now, not many have worshipped him. How we different? Maybe no. We too have not received him. However, unabated by our rejection, the star has continued to shine to those living in darkness, to those living in the shadow of death, to those who, like the Magi from the East, were not a people, but now they have become the chosen people of God after receiving mercy, after receiving Jesus Christ. The Magi brought precious gifts to the born king. How different from us today. We expect God to come to us, explain himself to us, give us convincing reasons why anybody should follow him, and give us all we demand for this life. It is the same reason the Jews crucified Jesus when he failed to turn to the leader they expected. Are we different? Maybe not. We have checklists against which Christ must score before we worship him. He has to prove himself worthy our following. But you see, the wise worship Christ not for what they can get, even when there is a lot to get, but for who he is, Lord and King in this life and the life to come. May I implore us to follow after the wise men, that this Christmas and the days ahead we will worship the Lord Jesus Christ for who he is, our Lord and our Savior, and that we will with all joy, worship and serve him with our God, our time, and all we are. Merry Christmas. Thanks for logging in. My name is Gideon Momo.